I like to introduce classes to building with machine learning by allowing students to play with pre-trained models. There are a range of new blocks that can be added to the Scratch palette that represent a whole range of powerful machine learning models. For example, ImageNet. It's a model that can recognize the object in a photo that you give it. And as you can see, it's able to recognize over a thousand different things. With just a few Scratch blocks, students can start building projects that do remarkably powerful and impressive things. Another example is this face detection model that can identify different parts of the face, like the eyes, nose, and so on, in a picture or a webcam view. And again, with just a few blocks, students can make something like this, a fun face filter with animated sprites that follow their face. These are really simple projects to build, but they offer a lot of opportunity for experimentation and creativity. Learning about machine learning in a sandbox that students are already familiar with, rather than learning in a, a new AI-specific tool or platform, sends a really clear message to students. It means that they don't think that what they're learning about coding isn't going to be useful anymore. They don't get the impression that learning how to code is going to be less valuable because machine learning models are just going to magically do stuff for them in the future. Instead, students learn that machine learning is adding a few new tools to their existing toolbox. They see that what they've been learning about coding is still important and still valuable, and that adding machine learning to the mix just expands the types of things that they're able to build.